2 News Oklahoma's Shay Smith spoke to residents here in Tulsa and also in Broken Arrow about the damage this morning's storms brought in. It was like rumbling. You could hear stuff cracking, breaking. I didn't know what was going on. Thunderstorms across green country bringing in 90 miles per hour winds, rain, and tornado sirens, sending residents like Barbara Neal into their shelters, bedrooms, and bathrooms. The 12 year old grandma, I don't want to go like this. I'm like, we're not going anywhere. Sunday morning's storms leaving evidence of its path behind. Hundreds of green country residents waking up to a similar sight. He says, Barbara, Barbara, look at your, look at your uh, chimney. My neighbor's tree going into my house. Uh, my tree on the other side, it's, it's on my roof. My back door was ripped off. Kim Zesma says she lost power and cell phone service, but those were not her biggest concerns during the storms. You no, know, I just feel like, what happened, Broken Arrow? Where were our sirens? Or where were our sirens here? Sirens, winds, and storm shelters. Three things all Oklahomans are familiar with. But Neil and Zesma say last night was unlike anything else. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Never. I've never experienced anything like this ever before. Never in my life. <laughs> and you've lived here for 20 years? I've been here over 20 years. Yeah. I've never experienced nothing like this. This is so, this is like real, real devastating. Both, along with hundreds of other Oklahomans dealing with a situation they've never faced. Do what we call FEMA, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm just lost because I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. I guess I have to call my insurance company on Tuesday um, because I don't know what else to do. I don't know what to do. But they say despite what they have lost, they didn't lose what's most important. My house can be repaired. We're fine. And, and ultimately, you know, I thank God that we're fine. Reporting in Tulsa and Broken Arrow, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.